Let's continue with events and talk about more events we haven't covered. Copy Vector is a vector tool, and we will discuss this and all other vector tools in a later lesson. Let's skip down to driving line event. First, let's build a split drive line. Select the spline point you want to split from. Open its properties and select Create Secondary Driving Route. Now, select the new spline point that was just created. Open its properties and connect it back to your main drive line by selecting any spline point further down your track. Now, let's check out the properties on the driving line event. Type is really the only thing here. Toggle active works like toggle in other events. Whichever route is active will switch to the opposite route. Set primary route active will activate the main drive line. Set secondary route active will activate the secondary drive line. and Randomize Active Route will select a random drive line to activate. Next is the end event. This event simply ends the track or skill game. It will be mostly used with skill games, but it can come in handy with some tracks. There are no properties here, just an impulse to this tool and it will end a game or track. Remember, you could still select an event filter and the properties to continue an impulse if you need it. Keep in mind, this is not as accurate as using a checkpoint if you're relying on time as your score. It's always more accurate to use a checkpoint with time. Next is Game Event. As we have covered in previous tutorials, you have the option to use custom objects as your game character. This event allows you to change the character on the fly. In the properties, we see many familiar options. The only one we need to concern ourselves with is game character. The first options are rider and bike, but with the third option, custom object, you get the option to select a custom game character. Now let's look at the hit point event. With this event, you can add hit points to any object that has hit points. In the properties, type determines how you affect the object's hit points. Set will just set the hit points. Increase and decrease will adjust the value of the hit points based on the object's current hit points. Value determines the amount of hit points you set, increase, or decrease by. Increase will make it stronger, decrease will make it weaker. Next is my favorite, the object position event. But to use this event, you will need a better understanding of data sources. So we're gonna save this for a later lesson. Next is the set value event, which always works with data sources. First, let's place a variable data source to work with. Just a quick explanation, the variable data source is a tool to hold numbers that can be used for various purposes. We will cover this in a later lesson. Now back to the set value event properties. Type determines how the value of the current value in the data source will be affected, and value is where you set the number the event will use. Set sets the value of the data source to the number you set in the value option. The rest affect the data source with math. Increase, decrease, multiply, and divide will all take the value in the value option and the value in the data source and use that mathematical function to create the data source's new value. Next is Set Vector. Set Vector is another vector tool, and like I said, we'll discuss vectors in a later lesson. Next, we have the State Event. At this point, we've seen many tools in the editor that have the enabled checkbox. The State Event is how you change that checkbox. In the Properties, we see the same options as other events, but in this case, in Type, Off means the target's enabled checkbox will be unchecked, and On means it will be checked, and Toggle means it will switch from its current state. The last event we'll talk about in this lesson is the View Settings event. This is just another way to adjust the view distances of your track. With this tool, you can adjust them on the fly to improve track performance. These are the same settings as the ones in the Visibility menu in the Custom Environment Settings lesson. <laughs>